Good morning, everyone. We're so glad you could join us today for our next adventure. In today's episode, we're going to be traveling to Fort Worth, Texas. Once we get to Fort Worth, we'll be touring the stockyards. We're all hooked up. We're ready to go. So, let's go to Fort Worth, Texas, y'all. Well, we made it to the little KOA in Weatherford, and Weatherford is just outside Fort Worth, and this is where we're going to be staying for a couple of days. Uh, we're going to go, like I said in the intro, go check out the stockyards, but uh, we're only here for a couple of days, and it's uh, so far not too impressed. It's pretty much just a campground, and it's... Uh, an older KOA and not the greatest condition, but you know what? It's got power. It's got water. We got full hookups for a couple of nights, so hey, why not? So uh, let me give you a little quick shot of the site like I always do. Sites are tight. Not a whole lot of room on the campsite. It's gravel. Picnic tables, though, is in fairly good shape. The grass needs to be cut. And it wasn't too bad getting leveled up. But that's it. That's where we're going to be for the next couple of days. So we'll take it on in and call it a night. And uh, we'll go explore the stockyards. Oh, well, we made it to the Fort Worth Stockyard, so we're paying for our parking, and finding parking wasn't really too bad at all, so we're about to go check it out and take you guys with us. Between 1866 and 1890, drovers trailed more than 4 million head of cattle through Fort Worth, soon after becoming known as a cow town. The Fort Worth Stockyards became a National Historic District in 1976, and one of Texas's most popular tourist destinations. The Stockyards Brick Paved Streets are our host to more than 100 shopping, dining, and entertainment venues. True to its history, the Stockyards holds twice daily cattle drives at 11.30 a.m. and 4 p.m., taking the same route those drovers did back in the Old West. And this place is pretty cool. Um, it is pretty much, the best way to describe it to all my Louisiana family and friends, it is the country version of Bourbon Street. Brick paved roads, restaurants, bars, saloons, open container, you can buy beer, wine, mixed drinks, carry it all over up and down the streets. And that's the best way to describe it. It is a country version of Bourbon Street and it is a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we have. When you're in Fort Worth, Texas, you gotta come visit the stockyards. It is a blast. Well, this is going to conclude our stay here at, in Fort Worth, our little visit. It was more of a little transient visit. We were only here a couple of nights. We had a great time at the Fort Worth Stockyards. When you guys are in the area, you definitely got to check that out. It was a lot of fun. Also, uh, this little KOA, like I said earlier, if you just need a full hookups, you know, full hookup site for a night or two, um, it'll work, you know, uh, it, it's not the greatest park in the world, but 
it's it'll serve its purpose and you probably hear the interstate noise it's cl it's located really close to the interstate which is convenient and also kind of a drawback from the noise but we were able to get some really good sleep so that's it for this one if you like this video please give us a thumbs up don't forget hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications because there are more to come from us in the next episode as we travel to Santa Fe, New Mexico. And as we say in Louisiana, les ailes les bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll and y'all have safe travels out there. Till next time. Uh -huh.